And so the question posed to me is, who was the female leader who inspired or mentored me? Oh, the list is so long. I'll start with the mentor piece and a true leader that should be recognized by everybody. And that's former state senator, former congresswoman, former ambassador, Diane Watson, who was so gracious and generous with me uh, as a young 20 something when I met her during my Coral Foundation Fellowship. She hired me the year after I completed that program, and she was my first and forever boss. Worked for her in her district office and had the opportunity to go to work for her in Sacramento. Uh, and that's what really um, exposed me to the world of public policy making and let me understand that, be it elected or not, I could make a difference in my community. So for the inspiration, the list is so long. You know, I think that there are names that you recognize. Fannie Lou Hamer, her infamous quote, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired at the Democratic National Com Convention. There is Sojourner Truth and her famous Ain't I a Woman speech. As I think about the people I wanted to share with you today, I realize I'm attracted to strong women leaders and orators. Two names that might not be as familiar to you, Biddy Mason. Biddy is short for Bridget. Biddy Mason, if you live in L.A., please go see the Biddy Mason Park here in downtown. An enslaved woman uh, who's uh, enslaved her, brought her west from the south to Utah, uh, then brought her with his family to California. And so California was a free state. So once she got to California, she was free. But she heard rumors that he was, her enslaver was not doing well, intended to go back south, and she wanted to maintain her freedom. So she was the first black person who was allowed in a California court to represent themselves. She had actually hired an attorney. Her enslaver found out about it, paid the attorney to not show up for her for her day in court. But a courageous judge allowed her to speak on her behalf and she won her right to stay in California as a free woman. She was a nurse midwife, um, um, de de delivered babies all over greater Los Angeles, bought property. Some argue that she probably owned most of what is now downtown Los Angeles and was the founder and donated the land that is now fame, first African, Meth first African American Methodist Episcopal Church that still stands today. So Biddy Mason. My second person I think who inspires me is an amazing trailblazer that again, you might not have heard of her name and that she's, and her name is Polly Murray brilliant attorney, philosopher. Um, she actually is the one who convinced Betty Friedan that women needed our own equivalent of the NAACP. And that became now the National Organization for Women, an early staunch feminist, brilliant writer who uh, in her writings, The Liberation of Black Women that she wrote in 1970, wrote one of the most profound statements that resonates with me even to this day. And she said, if anyone should ask a Negro woman in America what her greatest achievement is, she's likely to say, I survived. Those words, those teachings, the courage of the women I mentioned give me inspiration every single day.